Ah, uh, good evening. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back again to another show on the channel. Yes, this one we are doing our top five best Newcastle United seasons uh, with myself, Mason, and John tonight. Uh, how are we doing, fellas? No, not too bad. Big up, Pete. How are we doing, man? Everything's great, man. This end, do you know what I mean? Spot some poor chop um, on social media. Um, at it again, right? Do you know what I mean? I mean, come on, questioning people's support. How many of you see to get hold of for? How many of you see to get hold of for? But, 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 I'm a Newcastle fan, so I don't need to be questioned. I don't want to be told how to support my football club. Yeah, and simple as that. I mean, there are a lot of poor chops on that platform, and there's a lot of people with virus as well. That's it. Yeah, I've seen it, John. Yeah. Idiots, man. Absolute idiots. Oh. Uh, see, we we're gonna have Tony tonight, but the Forty he's got uh Forty kind of make it tonight. So, but we've got us three all tonight. So, yeah, interested to see what uh, people are gonna choose for tonight. Let us know what you will go with down in the live chat, what yours is would be as well. Well, then you know, first things first, if you do enjoy tonight's show, hit the thumbs up, it does keep us up those search results. <laughs> course please if you are brand new at the channel if you're not yet subscribed and you really really enjoy what goes on the channel week in week out hit that subscribe button it's free to do so to help me the channel grow and i will let you know whenever we are live or when there's a pre-recorded video taking place on the day as well feel free to donate if you like to do so and if you want to become a member for just 99p just hit that join button to become a member and be put into the live chat as well. Let's dive into a few comments. Good evening, White Trout. Evening, Pedro, as well. And this one called Lala Bonds in the chat. Okay, then. And evening, Pedro. It was just, yeah, to read Beer's comment. Anyway, well, then, let's get into it. So, who should we start with first? Um, go on, then. We'll start with one of yours there first, John. Remember to take part in the live chat as well on what you would go with for your top five best seasons as well so let us know so go on then we'll start off with uh, one of yours john yeah uh, I mean, first yeah it's a last it's a last minute change as well by the way pete if that's all right and um okay, i'm gonna go with Tell you um, what, just private chatter there john just so we can give the uh, the viewers a bit of a, a surprise on what we've gone with so okay if i could just um put it in there now Okay, uh, let us know in the chat what which one do you want taken out, John? Okay, cool. Um, sorry about that. You could ask Mason first. I could have just done that first there. So he just still want to, he still want to give the viewers and keep them waiting. Oh, it's a tough one. I've got to take out this one here. There you go. All right, then. Okay, then that's fine, then. Well, sort that. That was going to be the first one, but no, that's fine, John. So let me just have a look again. Right then. Right, we'll just get this one in before we get Aaron started with. So. Okay then. Oh, right, hold on. Let me just find a photo first. Because some of these can be a bit thingy. Oh, wait, hold on. So it just bears me a minute, John. Yeah, I'll sure. just find it. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh, that's a problem with the thingy at times. Uh, I'm going to have to get it small. Hold on, let me get this one. Ah, there we go. Yep. Hopefully I've picked the right one yet. <clears throat> just down to a little few comments uh, as well. Hey, good evening, Julie. Evening, Trules. Hope you're well as well. People with each other again. Oh, old and winning. Eh, uh, that's is that what you've typed in, Mason? I uh, just for play off push for obviously. Mm. Kids, uh, kids, I'm just on the same place as cool. Evening, Lee. Hope you're well as well. Good evening, Ian. Hope you are well as well. Right then, let's uh, get it in. So, very interesting one. Uh, this one, John. Actually, so you'll decided to take this one out. And you're gonna go with uh, this one here. So there we go. Right then, going on with you, John. You've chosen this one first. Yeah, I did. 1992. Sorry about the last one, Pete. Son, 1993. Um, Kevin Keegan took over the previous season, right, and it kept us up. And then 
if Kevin got the right players coming in the club and he'd get us up straight away, we had a fantastic start and, um, you know, winning, I think it's 11 games, 12 games straight. And then all of a sudden, and um, we had some good players there. Rob Lee was a fantastic signing. Um, also, you had Steve Watson on the books as well, Lee Clark, and you also have Ankel Klein at the back as well. He was fantastic. And um, Pav Surachek as well, great late Pav. But a key season to that, when we signed Andy Cole from Bristol City for 1.75 million quid, and that got, yep. us over, that got us over the line. What a season. It was entertaining football, full of goals, full of entertainment. The class sells the entertainers. And when you look at it, David Kelly scored um, 28 goals in all competitions. And not only that, we had a good season, got to the fifth round of the FA Cup. And um, Anglo Italian Cup is not really worried about that, by the way. But, 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 and do you know what? What a cracking season, Pete. I mean, we broke the English record as we're well, nearly broke the English record from setting the rings along, beating Greensburg goal to nil. And you know what it is, right? What a season. Kevin Keegan, if he got us up, then the world's an oyster. What a season. What a season, Pete. Yeah, I've seen old clips. You remember David Kelly in that season, of course, Beardsley playing at the time. Oh, okay. Um, who else did you have Lee Clark playing as well? Yeah, I think Daddy Coley had the number eight shirt first, didn't he? Because Kelly had number nine, I think. That's Liverpool, as well. Liverpool yeah. scored, by the way. Liverpool scored. I've heard Liverpool oh, had a oh, game, it. Turn. oh, so we had like to do it like you know, but best thing in the world. That's so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I remember clips of that season. Yeah, it was it was a canny season getting Andy calling. We had David Kelly that season as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, remember what games do we remember that season, John, that we won? Say again, Pete. So you remember some of the really good games we had in that season, if you want to mention those. Um, games? yeah, I mean um done Sun and Over. I think it might be two goals to one. I think I might be wrong on that. Um there's been some cracking games as well. We've been man dismantling team as well. And um, do you know what it is, Pete? I just I like to more, man. I like to more, and um, you know, cracking results, cracking games, yep. and um, oh my god, I mean, it was just so entertaining. If you look at the ones, um, you know, we've got we have beaten, uh, like I said, Sunderland by two goals to one, and Bristol City away. That was a good result, two one as well. Nos, yep. beat Nos County. We absolutely destroyed Leicester at home by seven goals to one. And, um, you know, I mean, the one against Sunderland, any win against Sunderland is absolutely fantastic. Six of against Barnsley. Remember that. Beat Grimsby away, which got us um, up to the Premier League. And um, you know what it is, right? I mean, it's got to be some of the one Newcastle too. Mm, you're an interesting one, yeah. Uh, the Ruffy Bernie is here and says, Good evening, all of you. Well, <laughs> people just talking to each other in the chat. Liverpool c- could come back in all they're capable of doing it, says Julie. Well, they've scored very early on, even in Peter Mason County Trio tonight. Pete, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Dave. Hope you're well, Dave, as well. Stalking is oh, well, no, there's no other in touch, joke, of course. Kevin Keane and Robley, uh, that then Premier League Middlesbrough was more northern than Newcastle. We went there in the League Cup and trounced them. Yeah, we, we did. did. We did. Absolutely, we did. Absolutely slaughtered them. Yep, absolutely. We definitely did as well. So, yeah, that was a great one you've uh, chosen there, John. Thank you, Pete. Nice one. Okay, then. Right, then. We'll go with one of Mason's, and it's the same one. One of the same ones I've gone for as well. So, this one. And we'll go with also Mason chose the same for this one as well. So, we'll go with... 95-96. I know it's a bit before your time, Mason, but I presume you've seen the thingy clips of it. So, yeah, go on, Mason. Take it away. Why have you gone for the, one of these ones? I've seen, like, obviously, videos and pictures, etc. of, like, that, that, that season early when the league by, obviously, when, obviously, we were decent at the time, and obviously, trying to get the league off Man United, and obviously... It couldn't happen yep. at the time, but mm. but look at some of the players we had. Soon the check, mm-hmm. Aspria, Billy Philip B. Albert, Stevie Watson, Stevie Watson, and the rest is his, history. But yeah, some probably one of the best teams in the in the nineties, along with 
it would see Man United as well. Yeah, I mean, remember the first game of the season, we beat Coventry 3 0 as well. I remember that was the first game we started off with there um, as well. Um, our first defeat came. Uh, that was away to Southampton in September when we lost through uh, through Mag- Magleton, who scored for Southampton at the time. We did beat Man City that season. It's a great. We trounced Wimbledon 6-1 in that one as well. Fernand getting a hat-trick. We've also beat like, Liverpool in that season uh, as well, uh, which we did 2-1. Um, Watson... Uh, coming right before the game ended. Just shame we lost to Man United. We did lose 2-0 away um, in that game, but um, yeah, we just, we lost them at home as well through Eric Cantona. We played really well in that game, but just couldn't score, but there was some good um, there was some crack games, of course, the 4-3 away to Liverpool as well. I mean, that happened in two seasons, of course, so yeah, just a shame we we did go we did uh, we did finish second, but just a shame. Uh, um, best loans. Win. All the best loans. Yes, yeah, as well. So yeah, very well. So yeah, that's some interesting ones. You remember? You've got to remember that season as well, surely, John, the ninety five, ninety six. Yeah, it was twelve points clear, were we? You've bottled it. We absolutely bottled the league. I mean, what happened was, right? I mean, if you beat United that day, we would have won. We would have won the title. But it's not just we lost the games, it's other games we lost as well. You got teams like Blackburn away. Um, we were going up against Leeds and early June in that game. And do you know what it is, right? I think the pressure got to Kevin, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, right? But um, we should have got that title over the line, man. I was very disappointed. Yes, people say what we're talking about, but I'm just speaking facts, but we should have got over the line. 12 points clear, and we absolutely bottled it. What was it? Oh, yeah, that we was it. It. good wrench and that. Yep. I'm I'm sorry to say it, but we have, but I don't like saying the B word, but I have to because we, we had we could have we could have got it over the line if we believed ourselves. But well, that is what I call against Blackburn, rationally seen the day. We three two up against Liverpool, right? Couldn't close the game out, couldn't close the game out. We see the poor goals that game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But Blackburn away, one 0 up, couldn't close it out, lost two one. Like I say, Leeds away. One goal up and drew ones each. And that's when Keegan lost the plot. Pressure mm-hmm. got to him, man. And Fergie just looked, just laughed. Bottom line is, we didn't win the title. What a big opportunity. Yeah, that could have been that's a great fun. opportunity to win the title. Just a shame we fell short now. one. Uh, Ian says, just had a nice chink curry with rice. That's why I was not on TTR. Very nice too. Oh, well, then there you go. Fair enough, Ian. 1-0 Liverpool. Latest Salah sco- score. Salah still losing 3-1 on aggregate. 73 to 74 FA Cup winners, and this is the first year watching me dad. The tune has been in my heart since then. Good evening, chaps. Hope you're well, Paul. Paul, when we beat Barcelona in the cup, was brilliant as well. It was, Julie. Big up, lads. Brilliant show. This hope you're well, Niall. That combination could produce a lethal fart, Ian. So, rather than (laughs) oh, Jesus, see you a shite then. Yeah, the way, even from the bed to boy. Hope you're having a great birthday, Lawrence. As well, the people just saying happy birthday to him in the chat as well. 12 point with the game in hand, if I recall. Could be wrong. I think you're right there, Dave. Yeah, it was. So, yeah, that season gutted me to bits. I think it everyone did. Really, really did. My top five seasons when I've went 21, 16 to 16. Okay. 17 years old for us, but Swansea were relegated to that. <laughs> well, do you never wow. know. Because uh, that could be, you never know, that could be. Yeah. Uh, my top, oh, Lawrence, you just corrected. So 21, 22, 16, 17, 09, 010, 11, 12, and 22 to 23. So Graham Grenton scored two goals. West Ham have scored. West Ham are winning. West Ham are winning. Wow. Sid, 17, Antonio, was Mikel, An- Mikel Antonio. So that's what West Ham have needed an early goal. The mix. The mix. <laughs> yep. So yeah. So we've gone over through our first one. So we'll go into uh, one of our second ones. So, um, which one should we go for for the next one? Uh, do you know what? We'll give you one of yours. 
uh, Mason. So we're not we're doing this in no particular order, by the way. So Mason, we're gonna give you what uh, Beer just said. You've got picked two thousand seventeen and eighteen, the season we got uh, the season promoted back under Rafa. Yeah, go on then. Why have you picked that one? And Swansea got relegated now, which was a fucking depressing season in all. But um, we came up and we finished and. I know we had a slow start in our first half of the season, but look at the second half of the season. We were we beat, yep. we beat the late we beat the likes of Man United. Chelsea had bottled Europe. Yep, we did. We beat yep. Arsenal. Yeah, we beat Arsenal. Season Arsenal. Yep, we beat Arsenal, but drew Liverpool. Um, obviously beat beat Swansea, and obviously drew it obvious now. Um, but but look at some of the players who we, we, we spent like forty four million on like six players. We did buy one a of, lot of players. We didn't spend is, an awful lot. Fact is, as well, one of, one of them still yeah, now. The music, mm-hmm. one of them still yeah. And yeah, he's he had a few. And he's had a few loan spells, but probably, probably one of the best ones we had signed was Friggin Lejeune. In the, yes, Lejeune. Yes, he was really fact, good for us that season. Fact as well, as we well, the fact is as well, the cabbage fucked them. Mm, yeah. He, Bring him back to soon when he's just had it where he just had the UCL injury. Fuck's sake. Mm. Yeah, that was a bit of a shame. I mean, to, the fact is, we, di- we we didn't spend a lot. A lot of those players went a lot of Premier League quality, but the fact is, Mason, Rafa got a tune out with those players. Sorry. Uh, I'm just going to um, just say, uh, bring in another player in who's still here, Dubravka, who was saying I know from Sport Yeah, Park, Dubravka, but... when we got him in. It's clean sheet in is... his first season. I'm, I know I'm going over players who like were signed, but look at look at who he brought in. Kennedy was starting to kick up. Uh, yeah, uh, Kennedy, we got K- Kennedy K- on loan. Who had a really good season now on loan. Some, that some, some money was shit. Um, yeah, that wasn't a good one, I can tell you. But the fact is, he got rid of a lot of players. Like, obviously, you let, you let, you let Mitovic go, you let Korbach go, you let. Well, Korbach, uh, yeah. You let. Well, I think Howard. they went out alone. Uh, Bintrovic went. I well, it was the end of that season. I think Benitez made a mistake in letting Mbappé go. He let a mistake of him going in Babu. because mm. that season when we went down, he was quality in Babu. Mm-hmm. Look at it, look at it now. We can't get game fucking for them. No, he cannot. That's the thing. But yeah, I think that's a good one because the fact is. You, of course, that season uh, as well, John. We got yeah. up, but we d- we didn't have a lot of quality. But we got a tune, and we finished tenth that season. Yeah, well, those were championship quality players we had. Yeah, I totally agree. And um, like Mason said, there's a lot of um, championship, a uh, lot of players who still got now. I mean, if you look at the players who bought, uh, Mason mentioned Lashun, Mikel, Marino, we got Marino, him as well. Yeah. We got That's him uh, on loan. We we, sh- we didn't do enough to keep him. By the way, it's a shame because um. He is a fantastic young player at the time. And, um, yeah, you're right. He got a tune out of us. Ten, we finished 10th that season. Lewis Gibson, yep. remember him? He went to um, left Newcastle to Everton, right? Yep. And um, without kicking the ball, been out on loan to different clubs. Now he's at Plymouth. And, um, yeah, so, um, listen, at the end of the day, like I said, Charles Lewis well, five million quid. I think he did have it. Not gonna lie, and um, Jacob Murphy. I mean, look, he um, struggled to settle in, in my opinion. The Shun's great, but you're right, 10th, finished 10th. Kennedy as well, um, you know, great first season, great first season on lawn. Came back again, was a success story. The Black as well, yep, came in and uh, that's the 28, that's the next following season. But listen, the end of the year got us 10th. And the thing is, though, Pete, my cashy didn't allow Rafael to build on the position. He didn't. Yeah. That was the problem. Yeah. And we had more the army, a beasted CDM, along with Shelby that season as well. We did. Can I just, say, can I just come back on Marino? There's a reason yeah. why I freaking brush out Dortmund had seen him in the first place. Mm. Yep. Who else we had? We bought Hosselu that season as well, who didn't turn yeah. out well. Mm-hmm. Who, 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 that... who got the first goal of the season for us, to be fair, like. He did, but yeah, there were some good games in there as well, Mason. Of course, we beat Man United. Um, we trounced Chelsea on the final game of the season. Um, as well, but yeah, we had. Is, but the fact is, as well, he did sell some of the Deadwood League. 
Like whether you I think Perez you was top scorer. Was Perez top scorer that season? I think he was. I'll have a look. Yeah. I think Perez was top scorer that season and the season after that as well. Um yeah, I mean it was to be beat as well. We we beat we trounced West Ham on the first win of the season. Um as well. We did get some really, really good wins, some good points that against I... teams that we probably didn't expect to get as well. I always had Perez 10 goals. I was Perez with 10 We didn't goals. score a lot of goals that season. We only scored about 46, I think. Or might have been a bit less. Mm. But, the but... Fact is, but the fact is, look at Henri Xavier fucking scored against West Ham. That feet, West Ham, yep. Yeah, there was no four of that. Mm. But the second half of that season was very, very good. We had a, we had some really good wins at home um, as well. And yeah, I mean, to keep, I, that, that was going to be the main target to steal, which is what Mike Ashley wants. Uh, but Rafa had had to do because of the who we bought in at the time. We didn't spend a lot of money, but um, those players did a job for us, and that was the thing. So, but, if, but the fact is as well, who would have thought of finishing tenth when he was just going for the championship, <laughs> limited resources and all that? I mean, that's got that's got to be some doing. Like, mm-hmm. yep. Not to uh, me comments. So, yeah, we just read that one. I'll go past there. Uh, the entertainer season, my favorite since Julia. Oh, yes, 2001, 2002 under Bobby. I think this season will be top 21, 22, 16, 17. I think the season will be 21, top 16, 17, maybe even 11th or 12th. Love to Jim, but Bruce made it worse by not managing him well after injury. He surely didn't. Uh, good evening, Mark. Hope you're well. Uh, put 21 22 over 17 years. We got our takeover and stayed up after such a horrible start. Plus, it elder that we got back to St. James Park. The lockdowns here that will always be in my heart forever. Watching us West on Ham, football. Villa's got the penalty, by the way. Who's got a penalty? Who's got a penalty? Who's got a penalty? Villa, Villa went Villa and Lila are, are in a penalty shootout now, I believe. Oh, dear. Good luck. I wonder, I wonder who's going to win that one. So, that'd be very interesting. And people. Welcome each other and says happy birthday. And Bia says watching us on football every week was depressing, says Bia. Probably during the Mike Ashley times, I could presume it was. Right then, uh, another one of yours, John's, will go through. And this is a great one you've picked as well. So there you are. You remember that game against Juventus when we were in the 2002-2003 season? Yep. And the Champions League under Bobby. Yeah, go on, John. Yeah, I mean, another great season for Newcastle United there. I mean, we've got to qualify for Champions League and um, as well. And um, we lost the first three games in the Champions League, which is believe we- is um, Feyenoord, UV, and Dino Kiev. But we had to win the next three games. I think we're the only club, we're the only club that has made history coming back to qualify for the next stage from three. From losing three straight games, three games straight to come back, and um, yeah, good players there. There's still this Rob Bears there, yeah, Gary Speed, um, obviously Shearer, Bellamy as well, which I've got to come on to in a minute. And um, you know, there's been some, it's been some cracking games as well. And Bobby Robson's done a fantastic job as well, Pete. And um, you know what, we finished fourth the season before that, that takes season finished third. Again, I don't think Freddie Shepard allowed Bobby to improve. He didn't really because we went. Every, it was fifth after that, and then after that, Bobby was sacked quite early on. But yeah, I remember some of them games. Uh, of course, um, yeah, you're right. Uh, the first three Champions League games we lost, and then we came back, and it was the final game where Bellamy grabs the winning goal for us to put us into the next stages as well. Um, and the thing is, as well, and the thing is, well. Right, you just mentioned that about when we were two goals up against Feyenoord. 2 2. Mm-hmm. Feyenoord should have scored the third one, where Davis has spectacularly cleared it off the line, which is a brilliant clean off off the line, by the way. I'm not going to lie. And then we were hanging on for dear life. We were hanging on for dear life, but Hugo Fayana, right, scored one of the goals of the tournament that day. Yeah, I guess, down, yeah that was a great goal. Into the top. Oh, wow, what a great goal. We still had tight sh- shambles in the team, by the way. I'm not going to lie, right, but. He's facing cracking sons that season. Jonathan Woodgate comes in, made a huge yep. difference, but his injury prone. We still had Carl Court in the books. We still had Andy Griffin, Gary Speed, Craig Bellamy, Shearer, Dyer, Giannis, Acornia, Nobby, um, Andy Bryan, Robbie Elliott. And um, do you know what? We are placing good. We have some cracking results as well, by the way. I mean, yes, we, we got we got transfer Blackburn as well. The best yeah, that was ever. a poor game 5 2, wasn't it? 
it was a poor game, poor game for us. We lost five three against United, and yeah, we did. It, and then we lost, we lost as well to them as well. We beat them. Um, in fact, if the memory serves us correctly, right? I mean, um, I've got to comment to something very special. In one of me, Lille um, have years, had a penalty it? saved, by the way. Lille have had Whoa. a penalty saved. Wow, was that the first penalty? <clears throat> What about Villa's penalty? Villa have scored theirs, but Lille have missed their penalty. Oh, very interesting. Bang, great. Interesting. Bang. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah, go on there, John. Yeah, um, if you look at the pick of the games, right? I mean, we beat Sunderland away by a goal and nil, and we also we also beat them as well, which I think it might have been yet yeah, two nil. I knew two nil, yeah, two nothing. I remember Shearer had a bandage on his head at the time. He did, did he? But that didn't stop him from playing, did he? <laughs> and still go on a free kick as well. That was good yep. as well. Fact, um, fact, yep. fact. But we did lose good... to Man United twice, I remember that. Yes, we did. I'll tell you what, though, as well. It was just, um, that was when Van Nistelrooy absolutely destroyed us in the second half. We started well, but they destroyed us in the second Patrick half. Patrick, and, and, and we got three, six, two at all that season. But... Yeah, yeah, we did. The best one of the results as well, I've got to say, Newcastle, um, if I could find that, what are the best results as well? Uh, yeah. I think Jimmy Hassel, Floyd Hasselbank scores a cracking on goal for Chelsea against. Yeah, him. he did. He did. <laughs> that was. If only it's black. If only we played in black and white, though. Only we played in black and white. <laughs> oh, he, he, there was a great goal, but in it was own goal, and that beat us there. Chelsea two one. I remember that. So, mm. um, Shearer's fantastic goal against Everton. You can't forget that. Oh man, on the volley, man. I was there. I mean, you got two late goals in that game. Shira and Bellamy sealed the deal. Everton thought they won that game. But that goal from Shira absolutely broke Everton's hearts, yeah. Didn't make oh, cars. Yeah. We were fantastic. We were, that was a cracking goal. I knew we'd win that game. But I tell you what, we needed to win that game, Pete, because if we won't get Champions League that season. Those are the games we need to win. Yeah, that was it. So, yeah, I remember those. those some, yeah, some really good ones there. Where I'm up to with me comments. Uh, where am I up to with me comments? Uh, Nolan was greatly. I remember Kevin Nolan as well. He was really good. I was at that Wolves game before the takeover. I was soaked the worst game I saw. And after that, I literally said, We are down. We still be in the championship now if we went down, says Brian. Yeah. Bellamy at final was class. Bellamy was a top class player. Shib about his attitude. That was his problem. It's just his attitude. That's it. You, need to keep, you need to keep his mouth shut. I mean, how many times did he get put last season? About 15, he got put about four. No, hang on, he got put 15 that season. Got a canny few, I remember that. Now, a company of Burnley, especially his chicken chance against the Mackers. Nah, we all remember. Can you just remember Will Fox with the flying good play? Yeah, go ahead, Mason. Can I just quickly mention it was Bent Leppin with the Bent Leppin with the penalty for Lille. <laughs> oh, oh <God>. Bent Leppin, <laughs> Jesus wept. Bobby should never have been sacked. They should have given him a job as an ambassador for the club. I was de devastated oh, by Bobby. Uh, good evening, Mary. Hope you're well. Big up, Stephen Mary. Glass. Big up, Mary. I, remember, I remember Stephen Glass as well. Liverpool winning. Nice yeah. to see Ben Aleb couldn't score his kick for Lille in the shootout. People just welcome Mary. Right then, so we go on to a second one of mine as well. So I may as well go on the following season from the 95-96 to that one. Again, it was another second season finish, but... We broke our transfer record and he became the most expensive signing for us that season, along with, well, standing next to Les Fernand was none other than Alan Shearer, who came in that season. Bit of a little argy bodgy of who would take the number nine shirt, but of course it had to go to Big Al, obviously. Uh, what games do we remember? We lost the first game away to Everton, I remember that. Um... What? This remember you, Pete? What? This game? Oh, yes. You kind of forget that. 5-0 against Man United. Uh, Chira's first goal against Wimbledon with a free kick as well. Some great games. Just the, one of the gut-wrenching was, was Kevin Keegan left. I mean, we still don't know why he left that season yet. But Daglish came in. We still finished. We finished second. Though. We just a shame we didn't win the league again. Again, there was some other crap results. Again, the 4-3 defeating away to Liverpool as well. The second one to a game in a row. That was one of the entertaining games as well. But yeah, I would say the highlight of that season and John, you would say, was absolutely trouncing Man United 5-0. Fat, 
absolute flat. It could have been a lot more, by the way. And the one thing about that game, Peter had basically playing central midfield, which was, I think, Kevin King played a really smart. And um, playing in midfield, I thought Phil had better school. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yes. Coup Never forget grass. that as well. That goal, that's a coup de grace. That's the cream on top of That's the chair on top of the kit, that goal. And I tell you what, one of the best goals of the season. But let me tell you something, right? I mean, are they talking about it now? Not really, no. Yeah. But, have they, but, yeah. but if, they, if there's like an United player or an Arsenal player or Spurs player, they would still be talking about it right now. But oh, yeah, they would. Never. Yeah, the back there, it's 2 2. Was, what's two two? Uh, oh, Villa missed a penalty. No. Uh, oh, so oh no! Sorry, to... three two. It's three two. Sorry. Oh, so interesting. Can Villa do it? Let's see. Where Big W in, in the room, by the way. Yep, there he is. Uh, Watkins scores his kick. People just welcome Mary. Hey, here comes Mr. Ian Toon Trade. I hope you're well, my man. We can't forget your all of Fernand Legends. Roma apparently are two up against Milan. And again, even evening to you, Wary. Hope you are keeping well. When we got Sunes, I was fuming. Blackburn were going to suck him when we gave them conversation. I can't believe we did that. Unbelievable. That was one of the baddest moves by Freddie Shepard of all time. I don't know what he was thinking there. Bailey's the Mrs. Bounty. Bailey's Mrs. Bounty. Oh. Wow. Man. Hopefully, Isak will get the number nine shirt. Says, like, Do you know what, Lee? It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. Albert King killed off the Manx. Yeah. Uh, sure, Keegan mentioned he had disagreements with someone brought in who had previously worked with NatWest, read something about it in his book on the last... Oh, yes, I think it was down about that. <laughs> Julie, yes, how are we nil? Uh, Villa miss. Hope you are well as well. Ian Shearer volley against Everton outstanding. Seen us one of the worst managers we had, and he's still bit I couldn't stand him. He fat. Was, he Absolute was fat. And he spent 52 million quid the following season, right? Bought the Solano, Emery, you know. And I'll tell you what... Team. What? Um, Cabela's take the Cabela's take the Cabela's taking the Leal penalty now. Scored an Al. Oh. Cabela's has scored. That means Phil is gonna have to score then. Well, it's level, isn't it? Still is it level on the penalties now? I think Aye. both have missed a one each, so it's love the bad. five nil win and the Albert it was legend over the keeper. Yeah, uh, what else did we game? We beat uh, we beat we trounced Forest five nil in that game as well. we did lose to him in the in the FA Cup though, but yeah. we beat them, we definitely beat them uh, of course, uh, five nil at home. That was the f was it the final game of the season? I think it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Um, actually, um, Shane Monaco dumped us out of uh, Europe. Unfortunately, uh, that season, yeah. uh, the Monaco game we lost one nil. We had a lot of injuries in that game. There was no Ferdinand. Uh, there was no Chira. I don't think Gillespie was playing as well, and apparently he had to stick Rob Lee up front. Oh, great. He had to stick Rob Lee up front. And Monaco, we got absolutely wiped out, uh, which was 3-0 defeat. So we did lose in the That was the... It was the... Well, the UEFA Cup. It was called the UEFA Cup at the time. So, but... Um, of course, another goal we're not forgetting that uh, season as well. Uh, David Ginola's cracking goal against Ferenc Faros. Yeah, that's a cracker, wasn't it? That's a beautiful goal, man. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Oh, that was incredible, oh. that... Tino Aspile as well. And that's the following season when he took off his shirt, didn't he? And he put the shirt on the on the flag. Oh, flag yeah. Anyway, against so. Mets, 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 that was against Mets. Mets, Mets. Mets it was, yep. yes. So, yep, absolutely. <laughs> Thought Daglish bought Solano. No, did yeah. He? yeah, he did. He did at first, but when he came up for the second time, Saunas bought him on the last day of the transfer. Window. I did, yeah. Yeah, because Bobby sold him in the 2003, early 2004, it was. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't Podge worse. Ooh, I wouldn't say Podge was worse than Sunes. Oh, God, Pierre. To be fair to Podge, so. I'm not a big Podge lover. I'm not one of Podge's biggest fan. But mm -hmm. I tell you what, he's got some good results. Like, he took us to the oh, league. He certainly did. Yeah, Villa anyway. Through. Villa oh, through. No, I think they're checking the penalty. The check the penalty? I think they're checking one. I think so. Did Lille miss another penalty? Like, I Villa through. Villa are through. Villa are through. Wow. Whoa. So Villa are through. <coughs> there we go. Wow. So it looks like Villa are through. Apparently Martinez got sent off. He didn't. 
Did he not? Oh, someone's just sitting in one of my group chats there, but never mind. Uh, yeah, does your wife know you have these dreams? Pardew and his grumbling debts, but he done okay. Villa, though, through. Yeah, be it. Villa all through. Yep. yep. Is being naughty. Well, he's just had, he's just asking Ian something. Anyway, let's go on to our third one. Um, so, do you know what? We'll may as well go for it all. So, here we go. Yeah, we are. All of us have picked this one. So, yes, we've all gone for the same one. So, the 2011 12 season. I'll start with you, Mason. Obviously, that big. Obviously, it was that time when we got in the brownie first first time under Ashley Fordu. Obviously, the Ashley Ashley era as well. Um, but I, that was the start of the French Revolution, as what was said. Um, obviously, people in Kabai, Bar, Saint Anne, and TC and Allen. Luckily enough, that, that was the time. Two when, of the big, two of the. Two of the biggest signings were definitely Demba Bar and Papi Sisi. I know Sisi came in January um, as well, but yeah, goodbye. Elliot as well, Rob Elliot as well. And look, he did, Rob, you, look, I think he only played one game, Rob Elliot, though. And the fact is, as well, Rob Elliot was signed Rob Elliot that, that time. He, he loves it up, yeah? He still loves it up, yeah? Yeah, he did. He did. He, did but... he works. Luckily enough, he works He works with Gates at an Ireland, obviously. Mm hmm. But it just shows you how an I was wasn't one of the best signings, but he he tried his best and obviously lives lives in the area. Colour courts. Yeah. Yeah, he Hello, does. Sam. Oh, oh Sam's in the chat as well. Um yeah, but uh, go on, John. You remember 2011 twelve season, the season we finished fifth under Pardew you as well? Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, if we won some cup and ball games, we could have got in the top four. Or Papa Cissé was linked in the summer as well, but yeah. Newcastle didn't want to pay the money. I think it's the same money, but 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 they bought in in January. What I didn't understand is at the time, why the hell did they, did they left in January rather than in the summer? Mm -hmm. Because I think Newcastle would have pushed on for the title. We've got some signings, by the way. A beard came through, Kabay came. Denver Bar on the three, Marvel on the three, Orbitan. I, I can't understand. If, I can't understand that signing, by the way. I get it. Let's be real. Orbitan right? was a dreadful signing, wasn't he? How the how yeah. the And then, and then, and then, and then, I have people on us on social media having a go at us, saying, I've ah, been negative and toxic. Nah, mate. I'll just want to be successful. You know, be successful in football matches. I'll just be realistic. But at the end of the day, he was not wanted. Um, Santon from Inter is a good signing. Yeah, he could play right back and forth both sides and, as well. Rob Elliott cost 300 mil. I don't know anything about the guy at the time. And Papi Cissé cost uh, 9 million quid. So we have spent over 20 million quid in that. 23 million in that season as well, which is quite a lot of money for Ashley the Shallows as well. And yes, we finished fifth. Who can remember that goal against um, Bolton? Hatton Ben Arthur. Oh Arthur yes, Lane. we got a yes that that the all the way from the yes that was incredible, absolutely unbelievable. And that goal against um I think it was against Stoker Home. I was in um I believe I was in um Tunisia that day where we beat um Stoke. I think it was four nil, three nil, three nil, three, yeah. no, three, nil, three nil, right? And um that pass from Kabayi to Cisse. Oh my God. What yeah. a ball. I'm telling you. Absolutely Ooh. amazing, Pete. And I tell you what, right? I mean, that was a proper team. That was a proper team there, right? Yep. When we got when we got um big up to Lady Sam, by the way, and um make sure that um you come on you, just come and be sure sometime, just uh, leave a message on my show. Do you know what I mean? It'd be great to see you. But uh do you know what it is, right? I mean, all I'm saying is right, I mean, it was a cracking season, finishing fifth. But again, we should have built. We should have built on, but we didn't because the following season really. we bought for Anita, and that nearly cost us a Premier League status as well. Well, yeah, but Cut. yeah, remember we trounced Man United three 0 a cracking goal, uh, own goal from Phil Jones <laughs> in that game as well. I mean, yep. Um, but also the goal, one of the goals we got, got goal of the season, CC against Chelsea. That. Absolute fat. But considering who we sell as well. That goal against Chelsea, brilliant. 
considering who we sell as well, Nolan, Routledge to Swansea. And yeah, Mickey we did Barton sell and... quite a few players that season. Joey Barton left as well. Lawal Lawal went to Brighton for a million for a million and all, but yep. From a Swansea's perspective, I feel like we're. Routledge was a decent signing because he stayed over for like 10 years and obviously retired, retired and obviously still lives in the area. So, mm-hmm. and obviously, I believe we left for um, two minutes. Oh, no, it would have been, would have been different, would have been a different season. Uh, uh-huh. and has just scored one, one, I believe. Oh, it was the same season when we left for the four second. Uh, ah, uh, yes, he did. Celtic. Oh no! What do you say there, John? Who's just scored? Atalanta's just equalised one each. Oh, so it's a big chance for Liverpool now. Uh, spell chicks from fun says Mary. If Villa going through will be only the good Premier League chances for us being eighth for Europe. More you got booked, did he? Martinez the ultimate shit out. So hi, Paul. I run up your walk soon as the big. Well, it's offside. I think it's offside. Oh, it could be offside, could it? Is that going to be yeah, I'm not watching it live, I'll just um, get on the group chats as well. Uh, so, uh, good evening, Sam. Hope you're well, and it was great to see you at the women's game on last Sunday as well. So, uh, still not a crack of day that was for 10 0 for the ladies uh, team as well, and that was brilliant. Harry apparently leaked Denver Bar's buyout clothes. Yes, he did actually. If, uh, yeah, people are getting Sam in. That was supposed to be all you, but me da- my dog knocked me, says Sam. That's all right, Sam. Met Rob earlier at Long Sands Beach and time off in January 2017. Nice on Lawrence. People are getting, again, welcome Sam into the chat as well. We should have won the year. We were 12 points clear. Yes, we should have, Julie, as well. Yeah, people again, just welcome each other. He's, he's normally been... <laughs> He's just been in the bath. <laughs> well, thank you, Sam. Evening, guys. Hope you well. Hope you well, Philip. He's, um, it says tonight. It's a good night. One one day before the food picks. Yeah, I think Mary's already getting six excited for the food picks already tomorrow. <laughs> Even though there's still just under twenty four hours just to go for that one. So, you know, and Sam says, "Hey, John. Olivia been out scored some cracking goals. He certainly did. Yeah, yeah." yeah. I think I'm just welcome. It's early cup the land at sea. We should all have built on that season. We finished fifth. Creed at heart, love it, man. Gloves come off on PD's channel. Thanks for tuning in, Sam. Uh, Joey Barton, now more famous for being sexist than ever he is for football. I'm getting really paid off with this oh, comment. Don't really start with that scout, fucker. I does everyone <laughs> poor pickles for knocking the phone. Denver Bar stole the show half of the season. Sick and off belong to Pappy CC. Still have fond memories of that awesome goal to Chelsea. Absolutely. Oh man. Oh, Panny Ian says it is offside. He said, Your hair looks nice, mate. Going good. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> She's giving you compliment. She is, isn't she? Hey, top day, Cindy PD. Certainly was. Certainly said he was. Come on, I will like you when I do a live show next time. Yeah, massive well done to our women's team and promotion to the championship. Kevin Nolan done a talk in weeks before he was sold express his love for Newcastle. Ashley is a twint. Congratulations to ladies team. Very good game. Edison would have had an assist if the Anlada goal stop, but it looks like it's been disallowed. Joey Barton is funny as out. Lol, isn't it? He's a sexist. I feel like he's a sexist cunt like. Well, he's he is like I can't, I, I can't, I can't stand him too. How on earth he's having a go at women's football? How on earth he does that? He's not doing himself any favors, man. He's not, he's not, he's certainly, like, certainly not. Now, you know what? I feel like he's been a little bit racist to any look, in my opinion. Yeah, he, he is. is. Um, there's a lot of people losing respect for him now when they're and can you blame them? No, no, no can he certainly all. can't? Not certainly, all. certainly can't not anyway. All. Okay, then, right, so we're going to our... Oh, so we're going to... Because we've all picked the same one, so we'll go to our next ones as well. Like Barton is a player for us, but losing respect for him, I think a lot of us are as well. Right, I then, am. so I'll go to the next to one of mine now. So I'm going to go for this one. Uh, so I'm going for this one. Many people think it's a bit of a strange one, but I don't think it is. So I've gone for the 2009-10 season... It was the championship season, but guess. But the thing is, we got out of the championship the first time. We finished top. We won it. We finished on 102 points that season. We were unbeaten at all. Uh, there was a lot of people doubting Chris Hutton at the time, but he did fantastically well to get us back up into the Premier League. And when he got sacked the season we got into the Premier League, 
back up. Um, I was gutted when he left. I really, mm. really was. I mean, Ashley and his puppets treading him like a piece of shite. And with Chris Eaton, who we think who we signed in the summer that season. Um, of course, we had Carol coming pretty much from the academy squad then. Who did make a few appearances the scene before before we got relegated? Um, who else did we buy that season? Leon as Best. Well? Best who came in January. Love um, and Kranz. Love and Kranz, we got Love him Kranz. back as well. Danny uh, Simpson. Danny is it, Simpson, is it, we got on is, is, is it Mike Williamson? Yeah, Williamson Wayne was a Routledge, was Routledge proved Routledge was a good one we bought because he was definitely proven for that uh, for the championship. I thought Wayne Routledge. But look how we're settling now. That little cock one will man unite. That little cock one will man unite. Yeah, Michael Owen. Uh, Duff won. left Def, Duff left that season, even though he scored the first game of the season. But yeah, still, um, some really good there's some really good Bassong. results in that game. We sell Basong and fucking over Femi Martins, man. Martins, yeah, I was yeah. disappointed. Basong, I, I wasn't that first team. Now what it is, I, I loved Martins, I loved over Femi Martins. So I did great. as well. Our voice fantastic. What a fantastic striker. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I look, I've just looked up now. With Saint, with with Saint Van, I'm on the one now. Yeah, um, who else? We had we got Harewood that season as well. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of see this certain name. Kisha has a Bill Philly. Okay, <laughs> from Blackburn, Georgian, whatever you thought. Oh, fair enough. But yeah, uh, who else do we yeah. have that season in the championship? Oh, we had Harewood. Harewood, do you remember more on Harewood? He won bad. He won bad. He won bad. Fitzal from um, Fitzal, yeah. Fitzal. I think Col- Nolan was captain that season. I'm sure he was. We bad Pankrat as well. It wasn't the greatest, oh. but that goal against Wofford was something. Um, I believe. Um, we the, we we won beaten at home. We did lose. Um, we did lose to Blackpool. We did lose to Derby away as well. Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe, away. yeah, that was another one we lost as well, which can't, is a bit dis- we can't we're really lost four, We lost four games that season, man. First away we lost. Yeah, we only lost four games that season. We won our home games. Was Carlisle in that league now? I'm no, sure they we. weren't. I'm sure, I'm sure Carlisle win the championship at that time. Mm, I don't think they were. We did, definitely didn't play them. Yeah. Go I'm, back sure, to, go I'm sure go Palacini back to, scored against Carlisle. Are you thinking I'm of sure. what? Oh, you know you're thinking of Cardiff. Oh, fair enough. If, if it's if it's them in with Cunsvin. But um, you know what it is, right? I mean, you're looking at this now, right? We only lost what four games, four away games of the season. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we certainly certainly did, didn't we? Consi- considering some of the players we had, some of the players we had, oh, some of them wouldn't leave with figure Man United, man. Yeah, it's a shame Joey's career and achievements are being overshadowed by his views. Totally, totally yeah, agree, totally Sam. Totally agree, Sam. To be fair, Jimmy Vrain is a bike. <laughs> Jimmy Vrain has a lot of things saying no more. He sues people. Well, 19 was a bit like 21 2 and everything that happened that year told me how shit the previous year was. And yeah, Luca looks stupid now. What women feeling unsafe in football grounds? She's chatting up to crap. Yeah, I've heard what's been going on there. Yeah, Congratulations yeah. to the women's team for winning the league. Proud of them. Brilliant see our management there as well. 100% needed to get out of it straight away. Awful when Chris left. Shame how they treated him. They treat him like shite, Sam. And Ashley yeah, just, it was Ashley and Lambayas didn't give a care. Care at all. I was there was a lot of fans good when he left, even there was banners going around saying thank you, Chris. The fans were devastated when Chris Hutton left. Nice try, David. Totally agree because the he was treated absolutely crap by Ashley all the time. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the thing was, right? I mean, I think Ashley was gonna um gonna sack him. Didn't want to sack him because I think he must have said someone come about the club about Ashley. I could be wrong on that if he did. Ashley didn't like it. He, he said that Andy Carroll's going nowhere over his dead body. Probably, actually, he didn't like it, and then off he went. Yeah, absolutely. That's you only sacked him for winning one fucking game, for getting losing one fucking game against Sunderland, five one, five one, and then oh, he goes, yeah. he goes, he gets sat for that. Chris Hutton did a tremendous job getting us back to the Premier League with players such as Nolan, Carroll, Barton, Gutierrez, Colacini, and Ricky Simpson. Guthrie, yes, I remember Guthrie. He was he was saying the season we got relegated, actually, was that was one of Kevin, Kevin Keegan's scenes. And uh, Sam just went along to give him a happy birthday there as well. Sam, he's like a K-man, and his opinions are not but the, are not the best a lot 
a lot lost a lot of my respect says paul yeah absolutely to be a half alex Hoffrey through his sentence now i forgot to tell the car you dudes you <laughs> um uh, should never been in prison should have been in prison poor sod absolute disgrace how he got sucked during the 2010 11 campaign it was yeah make of his own downfall says paul this is sam to paul run not with the rampage and this was hilarious on a sunday night Absolutely, I still miss that show, says June. Uh, Call where we did beat in. Oh, yeah, we beat them in pre season, actually. Yeah, up the blue bit. So here comes David. Hope you're well, David. Liverpool winning half time, but need another two goals for tonight. And Dave Telford, please. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I've caught, he said, unless it's been taken out of. Uh, um, okay, fair enough if it has. Okay, then. And if you just nice me when we have bollocks like that described as funny, we'll watch my hands in the future. It's all right, dude. It's all the birthday wishes. Your mods have warned you the next time you know what happens. We love you to have opinions, but respectful. <laughs> yeah. This time on the video, half time. Even in the end. Nice try. <laughs> I haven't heard anything. Uh, what's been good? What's this about Mason? Freaking David. <laughs> oh, he comes Come he says about, about Cardiff. No, it's one you um, Oh, yes. I remember the Mackhams walking us saying it to when we got promoted. Yes, they did. Absolutely, they did. So, yeah, that was saving uh, the method. What is the uh, next one? So, um, so uh, it's one of your fourth ones next. I'll go to you, Mason. You've gone for this one. I think I know one of the reasons why you've gone for this one. Taking away with this one. First season, first season, first half ish, whatever you want to call it, season under the new owners. Um, um, start, start, uh, start of something special, as you would say. Um, obviously, Minahu was signed, Minahu will let go in January. Obviously, only signing the one signing on that, which was potentially the last signing under Ashley was the Willick. And look, it was obviously Chuck Yar, Bruno, Byrne, Wood, the rest is history, but and then Target as well. But look, it will let go, let, let um, go out on loan. Hendrick, Longstaff, Matty, um, pivotal yeah. point of Elliot, Elliot Anson's career as well, going to Bristol Rovers in that season as well. Yeah, it was, yep. And then, obviously, Woodman got to Bournemouth. And, obviously, that, uh, Rodrigo Villica can't uh, back to uh, Peru. But, uh, some some of them players were there was just shite. And, obviously, some of them were pivotal in there. Look where some of them now. Joe White and Hendrick. Uh, Joe White and Anson got to Hartlepool and Pursuit of Suspectories, which was starting of something. Beat there, uh, four foot, beat Lille four foot on penalty, David. Yeah, you and yeah, of course, the remember that season was the takeover. I mean, John, of course, the day we got our takeover was the start of a new beginning. Oh, I think John has frozen. So, Mason, if you want to just take ahead, that was the... back. yeah, you, oh, you've come back. Go on. obviously, we're still at the June and all, which was pretty. I was a little good, I was, I was good when we sold the June, you should have been given a chance, and obviously. Atu going to Saudi, letting Savia go, and obviously we're all going back to. But of course, the main Japan. highlight was the takeover. It was. And who we it. spent in that January as well, Mason. It was. Of course, uh, Trippier being the first signing. We did follow by Chris Wood, who didn't have a great season, unfortunately. But of course, you know who followed in after that? Mr. Kimela is I. Uh, well, he's back. There he is. Hey, are you there, John? Sorry, mate. I've got lost there, mate. Sorry. Oh, don't worry, man. Yeah. But, uh, but I thought that January was pivotal. Look, it getting, was. Rid of, getting rid of a bit more with Deadwood and all that, and obviously bringing in Bruno, um, Burn, Wood, and Target. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, John, the season. Um... 21-22, the main point was the takeover. Yeah. 
I was going to put it down for that as well. Like, you know, obviously cracking well. I mean, it's best. See, I could have put it down as well, life. but um, but shame it wasn't. But never mind. Know, never but you mind. know what? Uh, yeah, I could have. But it's the takeover that's probably going to say that was the most thing about that yeah. season. And in January, here we got that season, considering where we are in the table as well. We were in the bottom three, yeah. unfortunately. And who would you thought we would have got players in like Trippier, Bruno, of all people? You know what it is, right? I mean, as soon as Trippier came through the door, right? I mean, he's a pioneer, and I've said this on my channel as well. He's a pioneer of Newcastle United. And, you know, once you get a quality player through the door, obviously follow you, follow you, you know what I mean? Bruno Gamarish, Kiermin as well. Didn't ask for a release clause if we got relegators. None of that. Yeah, just come in and say, we're here for the project. And then they got us into what lump place. Yeah. And I tell you what, we played some cracking football as well. And um, we didn't play the long ball. We just didn't. We just played um, the football we should be played. And I tell you what, we all fought for each other. Do you know what I mean? But when we beat the, the, the drop, I was over the moon. That's the bottom line. And then um, after that season, the rest is history. Let's be real. And going back to the takeover, I mean, look, that was the year that Newcastle United were born again because our football club was in the gutter and they're like, Ashley, yeah, let's be real, right? It was going absolutely nowhere, number one. Secondly, right, I mean, there's no ambitions under Mike Ashley. He's happy finishing 17th every single season. And I knew that if we, got, we are going to get a takeover. It's just a question of when you're going to get that takeover, number one. Yeah. And let's be real. It's just, um, it's just uh, really, really good. So um, I'm just glad, Pete, we've got some um, tip over. Got our football club, and... club back. And then you know what, Pete? The rest, they say, is history. Like you said, Ashley, yeah, Ashley going. We give, unfortunately, his 1,000 game after that. But soon as that went pear-shaped, John, there's the door. Yeah, fact. And you know what? I said this before, Pete. I mean, I told you in full of right. I want this manager out before he even came in, right? I did not want him anywhere near my football club. Yeah, the way he treated Sheffield Wednesday, right, was an absolute disgrace. Do you know what I mean? Those other managers we could have got, I'd rather have a young manager take over than Steve Bruce. The reason they got Steve Bruce in, because he's a Geordie, right? Well, he's not. Well, he's a plastic Geordie. He's a red, right? Yeah, we know he supports, it. We, he supports the team in Salford. Fat. Absolute fat. And you know what it is, right? So to appease the fans. I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's only to appease the fans, because they say he's a Geordie lad, he's a Newcastle fan, just to shut our fans up. Let's be real, right? I mean, that's the only reason why he took over the club. He could have done that years and years again. Yeah? He turned on Newcastle once, he didn't get a second opportunity. But guess what? He took the opportunity, right? And we called for his head, we wanted him out, but he wouldn't leave the club. Eight million reasons why that um, he wouldn't leave the club. Simple as that. But yeah. by the time it took all was happening, bosh, like you said, Pete, he was out the door after that one game. Certainly, certainly was. And oh, yeah. I've frozen the game, Pete. Oh, I didn't worry, John. Oh, hang on. Um, but yeah, absolutely. And it did take us a while to get a win, but it wasn't going to click straight away. Yeah. Of course, uh, Graham Jones had to take for a couple of games, but we got Eddie Howe. Missed the first game because unfortunately he had COVID then and the the um the self-isolation rules were still in place. We just lost to Arsenal. We did lose 2 0, but we didn't play badly in that game. The Norwich game really frustrated me because Kieran Clark cost us uh, mm -hmm. two points in that game. But we beat we did beat um we did beat Burnley, but then we did go on a bit of a slump after that as well. Losing to Leicester City, where Chow was down there, and we did start to pick up defeats as well. We did get a really good draw against Man United, although we should have won that game. But Cambridge United at home, we were stinking in that game. And I'm thinking, what on earth is going on here now? But Trippy had just said the, the day before. But um, yeah, but then it just shows the what happened, what came through the door after that, as I mentioned. Chris Wood, even though it wasn't his great season, but we needed a striker at the time because Callum Wilson was out injured. Unfortunately, we didn't have another striker. Um, of course, Bruno through the door as well, signed another signed another window. He was bringing back another Geordie lad, of course, in Dan Byrne and getting Matt Target a recognised left back that season who 40 years now fallen down the pecking order. 
But we could have finished top half, just a shame we didn't. But we had a cracking pretty much second half of that season there, Mason. We did. Um, and I just want to say about uh, the coverage, um, he's the only manager I have not who's managed Newcastle, Sunderland, Birmingham, Villa, two Sheffield clubs. And really, I think it was beginning now, but I mean, who would who, who would go and sniff going around clubs on the two Sheffield clubs as not Sheffield clubs as well? But who would <laughs> who, why would it, I've never had a manager to go to eat the club then go to the rivals? Who would who would have thought of that? Who would have thought of that? Honestly, absolutely, but yeah. The cabbage is a thought is, is a fucked up manager, to be honest. Yeah, two flies that are funny. Which one's on drugs? One's on the crack, and one's on the bush. <laughs> and <laughs> the off of the one on penalties. 2021 20, 22 is the season of a new transformation revival of the club within the owners. And do tell that I'm a new era when I can take it that I'm attached to my own opinions and yours, but you're acting like a prick. Yeah, he's Dave's uh, Dave's unfortunately been warned and um, what he's been coming out and said. Bruno and Chips Galavai's the star of the new rice for us. Great choice. Absolutely, Sam. Can Jeff I just come back to versus come West Ham was the birth of a legend. Can I just come back to what can I just come back to what the Lee's, yeah. co- Lee's comment Lee's comment about the bushes? I wonder what he's doing in the bushes, mate. <laughs> Exit Julian need a goal to spec saves that came across with something else. 45 plus seven for the Roma Milan game. Wow. Yeah. Evening, Pete. Hope you're well. Paul, you were talking about Joey Barton coming off Manx. He's actually comes off mindset for what it's worth. There you go. I have glasses of my type. It's still shocking. AC Milan are getting well beat off Roma. Trips it's all a winning mentality. Now a team convinced we were relegated without him signing. The 1 0 win at Leeds in January 22. The absolute turning point to a bright second off of that season. Yep. We still have Lord Voldemort eh, getting a cracking free kick. Do you think it's in Mary? We used to banter together. Yes, we do love a bit of banter on this show as well. But tomorrow, four. Oh. Is when it really, really gets. He's well put an eye in Pansy. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we'll always remember being at St. James's Park when the takeover was done. Glad we had to wait longer so we could celebrate normally at St. James's Park. Absolutely. Yep. And glasses need a new prescription. That's all, says Mary. Got a new one a couple of months ago. Classman getting the next Mac and manager it wasn't popular. I said he wasn't. No. He was never he was never gonna succeed, Steve Bruce. Bruce had any dignity or cared about the club anywhere yeah, as much as cared. He'd have resigned after the embarrassment of Brentford or Sheffield United. So never going to be Ronald. Bruce took the piss out of our club. He certainly did. If he was a son of Van, he would have left Wigan to join Sunland. Yep. I can probably not everything is <laughs> he related, says Mary. Bring back the stocks for Steve Bruce. That's your dirty mind flipping into Friday mode. Oh, you've got less than 24 hours till Friday sh- to tomorrow show. And here, yeah, that was the reason, Mary. And I referred him to Man U as us this season after one of their Champions League matches. That's my mind. Changed my mind going into Friday night, or what am I like every day? <laughs> we know what you're like, Mary. Can you please read the chat for him? Oh. I'm not seeing. At least Liverpool didn't have the misfortune of being laughed at by Man United fan and Bruce as a player. I'm not... Man City knocked out the Champions League dog walkers. Hello, Billy. And good evening, Mr. Hey. Billy Tree. Hope you're well, my man. Hope you are well. Uh, so we're going to the one of fourth, the fourth one you've one of yours, uh, fourth ones you've picked, John. We're going for this one. You've gone for this one. Go ahead. That one is the 2016-17 season. Yes, and the reason I put that one, if we are going to get a championship, we need a Rafa Benitez to stay, and that's exactly what he did. He's on a three-year contract. He's bought him some good players as well. Matt Ritchie is one of them. And um, Christian Atsu on lawn as well. And um, also, um, as well, we've got a couple of players in as well, man. And um, I just think, I just think um, we had to get out of the league, spend 52 million quid. And, yeah. um, and um, you know what it is, right? I mean, um, we played some cracking football as well. We did have the best of starts, didn't we? we lost the first two games. People were saying, being next, like, eh, but we're not going to get promoted. Flip it out. So, look, it's, it's a 46 game season, man. Yeah, it's yeah, a long it way to go. And um, I thought um, we were really good. We've got on our stride winning games. We absolutely chance QPR away. That's a massive win there, by the way. Early, it goes early in the season as well. So, yeah, I mean, um, what can I say? What can I say? If you just look at the sign as he made, if I just get it up there. Like I said, Kieran Clark signed first as well, by the way. And uh, let's just get this yep. up. 
Yeah, but there you go. That, that sells cost nearly five mil. He was class. He, 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 lasted a f- he lasted a few games of that sells, didn't he? Yeah, he's at Forest now, and he saw. So, uh, yeah, um, but, but the Gale two biggest. But I think the two biggest signings for that season was Dwight Gale and Matt Ritchie. Yep, yeah. and don't forget the army as well. The army is quality as well. Yeah, the army as well. well. He, he started. He was more like a number ten that season for us. I think him and Perez used to chop in that, change in that position at times. Yeah, they did. They took it in turns, and uh, we had a big squad as well. By the way, took it in turns, and um, I don't think the army is a number ten. He's more like a CDM for me. Yeah, yeah. I think he's ways. He need that bite in midfield. He's got that, and you put him at a ten. Yes, he's got pace and yes, he can dribble. But for me, I'll play him a CDM. Daryl Murphy, right, as unsung hero at front, right, scored um over ten goals for us that season. I thought he was really good. Um, he was really really good, and um, he had a focal point up there. Kieran Clark, perfect defender for us. Grant Hanley, he was all key. I did think he was great. Yedlin. Isaac, Isaac was fine. Yedlin, Yedlin, Yedlin as well. I Yedlin, I like Yedlin with pace on the right back. He was quick. Him and Anita used to, again, used to change really that, quick. that right back position as well, didn't they? Yep, yeah. yeah. exactly, exactly. Uh, Daryl right M- Darryl Murphy was another player we got. Like him. And Dwight Gale with the goals. He scored 24 goals in that season, man. And um, you know what it is, right, guys? I mean, I thought we finished top the last day of the season because Brighton failed to beat Villa all year. And Newcastle ceased on it. One 3 nil against Barnsley. Phil early drew. We won as champions. And so a certain Jack Grealish. Yes, Jack Grealish. Yes, because it went. To, uh, we thought we were probably going to finish second, but yeah, Jack Grealish. They saved our bacon, and that won us yeah. the three. We course we beat the last game was Barnsley three nil. Yeah. As well. Um, yeah, I mean we had some great results. You mentioned the QBR six nil. Away in Loftus Road, we trounced Preston six 0 at home as well. Yeah, it was a it was a tough game. It was a tough away game for Preston uh, away at Preston. We won that game as well. I thought Mitrovic um, played well. I mean, he was in and out of the team. By the way, I can't lie. But I thought yeah. he missed a lot of chances. By the way, I remember the game against Bristol City two 0 two 0 down and came back to two each. And I tell you what, if they had Tammy Abraham for Bristol City that day, top scorer in the championship, we'd not have won that game. We have not won it. They had a loads of chances, see, especially in the first half. Especially in the first half. And Yedlin, I thought we did that brilliant tackle on the stroke at half time. Should have been, should have been three 0 down. And let's be real, I thought we were really poor that game. But we did struggle in a couple of games, like Bristol City two two draw. We should have looked to have won that. We let, we did lose at Wolves at home in that game as well. That was a yeah, bit we did. of a. Well, I think we lost to Fulham as well at home, 3 0. Yes, Fulham beat 3 uh, 1. We lost Huddersfield to Fulham. Lost, Hull- we did, lost home. Yes, we did lose to Fulham twice that season as well. Oh, he's basically got the same one on. Key, 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 key wins well. Away to Brighton. We beat Huddersfield away. And yes. we grew with Red and, Red and Neil each as well. Well, you could have lost that game. But that game against Brighton, where players score that goal in the 90th minute. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that Diomi goal as well. Was... Yeah, he's had a f- little flick. <laughs> One of those little thingy flicks as well. So that was, yeah, really good as well. Um, it was. It was some really, but we just had to get back up that season. That was the main thing. Absolutely. I mean, we couldn't. I mean, I tell you what, they were saved our bacon. Huddersfield did win their home games. Lost to Burton at home. You remember, so as I say. did, yeah. They expected Huddersfield to win that game. Then they got, um, they got absolutely blitz away. Blown, blown away by Fulham. Often Fulham were the best football inside in the championship. They were it, the best yeah. team. Uh, right, yes, Sessegnon absolutely terrorised us in the in the home game, in our home game. I think Tom Kenny scored a belt and goal as well. He um, So yeah, that was yeah. There were some games we should have we shouldn't have lost in that game. You've got to admit so. But um, yeah, the but, main thing. I mean, we did lose to Ipswich away as well. We shouldn't have that shouldn't did. have happened. We, we were shocking in that game as well. We did lose to Sheffield Wednesday twice as well. We did home and away. The thing is, right, I mean, those are sort of games, I'm not going to lie, but these are sort of games you've got to win at home, yeah? And I expect us to win the home games, yeah? No excuses <laughs> whatsoever. In front of 52,000, week in, week out. And some of the games we didn't win, like QPR at home, 2-1 up, didn't win that game. Wolves didn't win that game, yeah? Huddersfield didn't win that game. Bristol City didn't win that game. Yeah, Fulham we lost as well. But we were quite iffy at home. But I think we were better away from home because we made ourselves very difficult to beat away from home. 
But like I said, people got beat off teams like Ipswich, full of the first game of the season. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally, but totally. Is, yep. But the fact is, that was the first season when Wolves had the Chinese, owner, Chinese money. Yeah, yeah, at least Liverpool didn't have the misfortune of being left out by Man United for Bruce Evans as a player. Bruce has been prosecuted under the Trade Descriptions Act for describing us as a football manager slash coach. He's done. He's a dinosaur. Man City knocked out the Champions League now. Dumb Walker's first Chris player ever. Um, uh, oh, Billy was just. Oh, I think I, oh, I went a bit too back on what the comments. That's what I Crack, didn't think about. Really a lot. I'm not, I'm not managing it. I didn't see what was in the chat, dear. There, so. Um, let me just go through these comments. Uh, people just working and Billy in. Uh, Phillips says 2016 17, the season where Rafa galvanized our club back to the Premier League with the likes of Richie Gale Perez, Shelby Clark, and Bemba, Diami, Mitrovic, Yadlin, Hayden, Murphy, and Anita. Yep. My uh, Wolf son says, Hi, my favorite season. Definitely 95, 96, 96, 97, 2001. 2002, 2002, 2003, 2003, 2003, 2003, 2003 slash 04 is close to Europa League semi final with Sir. Yeah, I can remember that me. against Marseille and did a job I played as well. I thought John of did a really good job on him. We badly he missed him for the return leg. We badly missed him. Yeah, we did because he lost oh. the game. And yeah, we, we I think we dropped points throughout the remaining games. Funny last day of the season where we thanked Aston Villa for the draw against Brighton, which helped us win the championship. Yep, absolutely. Julie thinks Mitrovic would still do a job now for us. He's in Saudi, isn't he? He's going banging in the goals, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He still loves us. He said he was a Jordy ball while he was playing for Fulham. Lost to Black. Yeah, we did lose to Blackburn as well. Well yeah, spotted there, Fulham. Right. Yeah, I don't know what your manager. I mean, I have a opinion. Your intention for opinions to come. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. You don't have to agree That's... with them, but do respect people's opinions. That's all we can ask for, please. Exactly. Uh, BS's last one was the best season by far for me. Well, Bia, yeah, the best season for me because one to our last ones. And yes, here we go. Uh, where are we? So there you are, there you are, and there you are. Yes, we've all gone for last season's 22 23. Come on, start with you, John. Yeah, place under Eddie Howe. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Eddie assembled a team is going to be open attacking a rear football, and you know what? It was just a pride to see. I mean, Sven Botman came in as well. I'm, I'm not a good sign in as well, brilliant sign in to be fair. We already had Bruno G. Um, and then Anthony Gordon came in in January. Yes, I know people didn't agree with that sign in, but he did his bit, he played his part, and the rest is history. But he won lots of games. I mean, Nick Paul, outstanding. I mean, that guy, I mean, he made a fantastic save to Castania, which got us Champions League. Had not gone in, then we had to wait until the last game of the season and um, to get through at Chelsea which will not have been easy but you know what it is right we've been some great teams along the way Man United we beat as well and um, you know what it is right I mean the Premier League didn't want us in the Champions League they didn't want us to have a takeover they didn't want us to be in the Champions League we they got fourth last season we shut the Premier League up as well you know what I mean onwards and upwards man but Eddie Howe has done an amazing job this is a project guys right this is phase one of the project phase one yeah we're in phase two. Hopefully next season, we get rid of 10 to 12 players, out of contract players and players deemed not good enough, yeah? Phase three, you need to step it up now, you know? Get some new players coming in, yeah? But what a season, Pete. What a season. I was so over the moon for Eddie Howe and the lads. Came in, made a difference. We defended properly and did not see lots of goals. And that's what kept us up as well. Isaac, outstanding first season. Outstanding, yeah? Callum Wilson, 18 goals in that season as well. Got us up as well. Do you know what I mean? Bruno G, outstanding. Yeah? Anthony Gordon played his part as well, man. But I tell you what, it's the defence and Nick Pope as well. Back five made a huge difference. Joe Willock played his part as well, by the way. So, I'm over the moon. Top four. Away we go. That's it, yeah. Mason? I obviously... Signing the likes of Botman and Pope. And obviously, January Gordon, I mean, that season would live long in my memory because I've grew up in the last year. Um, that, season, that season got real my one of, the, one of the best seasons I've ever had. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, last season was belt like Champions League getting into it after 20 odd years of not being in it. Yeah, it was just a great look at the games we had last season. Look at how we beat as well. Spurs 6 1, that was one of them. Yeah. Beat Man United as well, beat Chelsea as well. Just see, we could beat Liverpool. And um, we give Man City a game of 3 3 at home as well. Um, we had some great games in there as well. So that was just. Fact is, well, fact is as well, went to a cup final as well. Yes, just shame he lost out, but it was great to be there after being into a final after such a long time as well. So it'll have a whole half tried to do it. As Biff said, Back to the Future hit my new. Remember when TAD stayed live for 30 seconds on the NUFC flag that said Rave Steve Almiron? 2022 23 season, our club was born as a big dog again with a new revelation under Eddie Howe with players like Trippier Share, Julian Botman, Paul Botman, Bruno Byrne, Isak, Wilson, Murphy, Longstaff, and Willick. Those hmm. players played a part <laughs> in that season as well. Any other games we remember, John, that were fantastic as well? Yeah, um, 2000. You mean any games or the year? Well, the, the, the season, last season. Yeah, I thought Miggy scored 12 goals last season. It's best ever season, but it's gone back to the old Miggy again, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot I'm to get skip Sam's um, comment. I'm not gonna John, lie. He was only like that because of what, what Wheeler said to him. Say again, say miss. He only said, he only played like that for what Grealish said, Grealish said to him. Yeah, he did. That was yeah, it. that's all it is. But he's got, but he's got, he's got to do it every week though, Mason. That's why I think he needs to be moved on next season. Do you know what I mean? We need to, this is a phase, this is um, what, phase three of the project coming up in the summer. And he should not be a part of that. He should not part of it. He should go. Murphy to a degree. Sorry, Clover, if you're watching. 36, 36, um, Scott goes, well, well. Well, he's always got to be in the squad player. He can go with first as well. I mean, target, all that contract players. I won't mention 100 well, grand a week. Know. Target's on. Nah, sorry. Pissed it, pissed it. That's a P tick, man. That's P tick. But people say, yeah, but you can't get rid of them all. Of course you can. Just say the players politely and say, look, we want to build a project. Yeah. And unfortunately, we got to move you on, mate, to, um, so you can get first team football. Yeah. Eddie's got to be ruthless this season. I love Eddie Howe. But he's got to be ruthless in the summer. He has to just be like, Project 3, we've got to turn the players over, yeah? We've got to get in quality, more quality into that team. Because if you want to get top four this season or challenge for the title, then that's all you're going to have to do. Yeah, totally. We've, totally. Got, we've, got, we've got players there. It's been the club since 2017, 2018, 2019. Now it's 2024. We need to get them on. We need to move them on. They'll be great servants, but get them moved on. I'm off now, guys. Take care. Take care, Take care for it. There was a few staying there. Eddie Howe doesn't have enough in the bank. Not too long ago, and annoy me, but I hope they've changed their minds. The thing that's stopped us spending and loads of money is FFP and the PSO, mm. which get rid of it. Beating Arsenal even better. Yeah. Sven Botman's going to be a daddy yet. Yeah, congratulations to Sven well, Botman, who's going to be a dad. Hey. As well. So, yeah, you're my top. Five best NUFC seasons 2011, 12, 22, 23, 2001, 02, 2002, 03, and 95, 96. Wilson Minty, Targa, Longstaff, Almiron after goal. Only the one I disagree on there is Beers Minty because I think he deserves a chance in pre season for me. So I want to see him having a goal. Take care, fellow Ronald. There was a run of games. I was questioning Eddie. I was on the fence, mainly due to subs, but he can do it. He has quality and needs a season to prove it with a fit team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what Sam uh, says there, and also talking to Ronald. Not Minty Bear needs, not Minty Bear needs a chance at the two. And he needs a chance at the two. I'll Preseason, well, yeah. What if? Where are we, man? I mean, you've got to look at given preseason. If he needs another loan spell, then okay, then fair enough. But the lad's then, very young. The lad's then, very, the lad's very young. I mean, I spoke, to, I spoke to a guy called Robin. Sorry, guys. I spoke to a guy called Robin, right? I mean, do check out me um video, right? The content I did the other day. It's out there. I mean, um, so Scout Report Part 2 with uh, Minty. But I interviewed Robin, and he said he loved coming for a second season. And the fans loves him there. The fans loves him there. And was well, it nine goals he scored? Ten goals scored, four assists. And then tell you what, though, the fans love him, and he thinks it's going to get better. But he thinks... That he needs another season out on loan 
before going to Newcastle. Well, we'll see if he does get another loan spell, and fair enough. I can see Ashby getting another loan spell out. I agree. And I think Coyle's going to get another loan spell out because it's not going well where he's at at the moment, I don't think. Yeah. That's a little bit disappointing, that. I agree. For the fact this is a club where he is now, he's got financial problems off the field and all. And be honest, just said it there at the bottom of the league. Mm. Watched him versus Von Lundum sell him by these prices. So he's more one footer than Miggy. And he needs a chance, Beer. Even Sam says he wants she wants to see Minty. He's been doing well on loan. Yeah, he needs a chance. He's a very young lad and he'll become better as a player. Even Wayne says, yes, Mindy, Julie should agree. Should agree. Uh, oh, I missed Julie's comment now and there as well. Yep, even C shirt, he needs a chance as well. For context, falling on my bottom of the league, they pulled out off him at 60 minutes. It's selfish on the ball. They did. Well, it's going to be, he's not going to have a good game all the time, but he's done fantastic of how he's done a fine note so far. And that sounds great for us. If he's going to be that player that we've got in for the future, Kyle needs to go somewhere else. Yep. Rachel, Peter Mason, John, take care and all in the chat. Cheers, Wayne, for tuning in. You too, Wayne, my guy. I got some six for the defending long stuff on your and X, and I didn't think we should sell him a decent squad player. I know people have their opinions on long stuff. Some people said he's a good squad player, but the law said they don't think he's good enough. Uh, yeah, uh, who goes in and we're buying will depend on in Europe as we need four goal players over 21 for your way from squad. We were short by the season, so only had 23 in the squad. Assuming Dummer goes, we'll have three decent show lads. Please check the chat friend and decide if I'm a prick with no hard feelings. I will be back next show. No, I, I, I didn't see what was how what, what went on I in, in there. Dude. Didn't Sorry, see so, I didn't but see um, we'll keep an eye out next time. Can't see Kyle doing anything to be fair, Julie. Not neither. Now. No, no one thinks you're a prick, Dave. You've done now, you've been a you're a good. Uh, uh, person of the channel, Dave, as well. And so, yeah, no so it's one. great to see when you tune in as well. Right, then. So, we're now joined the show to an end now. So, we'll start to let people know. So, I'll start with you, John. Where can people find you? What we got coming up next? First off, Pete, thank you so much for having us on your channel again. It's been great. And Mason, thanks a lot as well. I believe you're co host to Pete. Good. And yeah, um, yeah I mean, what I got coming up soon, hopefully, I'll be doing the chance to show on a weekend or I may do like I should talk about Newcastle as well and um, join us for that as well and um, the Real Talk podcast show is going to be on Monday or Tuesday but I believe it's going to be on a Monday at 8 o'clock usual time if you want to come on Pete that'd be amazing and I'll try and get turned on so for the, um, the Real Talk podcast show and I'm there for that one and uh, it's brilliant what a show that is so it's called a podcast show and if you want to find us check us out on John Sinclair TV the link is in the there chat. You John's channel well. right there. If you haven't checked him out, do uh, drop him a subscription. Thank you. He's very back. Much. He is back. As Billy mentioned one time on my show, he is back in the game now. Back in the game, people. Back in the game. Hey, hey I love hey. how he's, he's grabbed his mic and just. Hey. Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that never seems like you generally agree. Chill eyes. See you later. Ooh. Cheers, Ian. Hey, Joe, everyone, oh. take care. Do you have any other things to talk for God's sake? Well, um, I think I I'm sounded like express, express, expressions then for the minute. <laughs> yeah, long stuff. Oh. I think I'm over long stuff to be fair, but hey, it's not like we all and floor players, absolutely, Sam. Yeah, uh, great show tonight, Pete Mason. Everyone, get to see you on, on January 1. It's hey, your guys. Look forward to discussing Cardiff City Mason Mason. And again, cheers for tuning in, Sam. Long stuff has improved at the weekend. He did well at the weekend, to be fair, but we now want to see that regular now. That's all we can see. Well, we'll call him call long stuff 36. <laughs> it's fair enough. Uh, no, I know you were I know you were called out um just for saying that, but so pathetic. Yeah. Plus, John, <laughs> yes, you did. Great man. Mark and says uh, sent to Julie. Anyway, well then, uh Cardiff a massive says BR. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Oh, don't upset oh. Mason. <laughs> Well, we will see you all back tomorrow night for the crazy PD's Football Live show. Eight o'clock start. You know what the show's all about. It's always great banter. It's always a laugh. If the show's not for you, don't watch it, is all I can say. But we always have a laugh, like to have a laugh on a Friday night. It's what the show is all about. So tune in for Friday for the good old fool picks. And I'm dreading what the comments will be tomorrow. The, fortunately, the only thing that I'll be missing tomorrow is Chibbers' rant because, unfortunately, he's at work tomorrow. But 
We can still have a great show tomorrow night as we always do on a Friday night. So do tune in tomorrow at eight o'clock for some for the Crazy Pities football live show. As always, so good night, everyone, and take care on. Says Julie, get those five hundred burgers ready for Billy. I dread to think what Billy will be saying tomorrow night as well if he's on. Because uh, I think there's one pick I've got in particular that I think is I'm dreading the comments for it. One pick that I definitely know that is going to get sorted for tomorrow. I really dread the food pick. The comments will be on that one. Even Sam's ready with our food picks as well. And so is Mary as well. So there you go. Anyway, guys, remember if you have enjoyed Please remember to hit the thumbs up. It does keep us up those search results on YouTube. So please do smash those likes. Please, of course, if you are brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy what goes on the channel week in, week out, hit that subscribe button. Free to do so to sum the channel grow. And our bell notification will let you know whenever we are live or when a pre-recorded video takes place on the day as well. So do hit that bell notification to let you know what is upcoming. And feel free to donate if you like to do so. And if you want to become a member for just 99p, hit that join button. You'll be put into the next prize draw we do on the channel, which I still haven't decided when it is yet, because you will be notified as always. But yes, guys, so until next show, till tomorrow night, oh boy, it's going to be uh, a really hot, fiery show tomorrow night. So there you are. But anyway, guys, we'll see us all later. Take care, everyone. Good night. How are we the lads? Oh, the lads. And lasses as well. See you later, guys. Take care. Good night, all. Good night. <laughs>